Hey, what's up, soldiers? My name is Greg FPS, the Zombies Extraordinaire, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys 15 minutes of gameplay for the brand new map, Ancient Evil, that's going to be releasing tomorrow on the PlayStation 4. I want to give a big thank you to Activision for flying me out to go to Treyarch. They paid for my flight and hotel, so big thank you to them, and also a thank you to Ali. She is the best and the coolest person in the world for doing this and sending all this up for us. So anyways, guys, the first place you want to go is going to be the amphitheater. This is where the Sentinel artifact is going to be, and you can actually activate it. You're going to get five of the Skelly boys to run at you, and you can kill them if you decide, or you can kind of just run around in that area if you want. Now, once the skeletons are gone, zombies are going to spawn as well from the crystals that are in the stands of the amphitheater. Now, obviously, as you can tell by the rainbow kind of invisible wall, you actually can't leave this area now you can train all the zombies around but it, like if you want to kill them you can but you only get 10 points per kill which kind of is disappointing to be honest now eventually Pegasus is going to come and electrocute all of the zombies so like I said you don't actually have to kill them you can use a specialist if you want to get a little bit more points but you don't actually have to so as you can see Pegasus is there and eventually the screen is gonna go white and Pegasus is going to fly away and you can ride him by getting the golden bridle which I'll talk about a little bit later on in the gameplay so eventually all the doors are going to be able to be opened once you're done that lockdown and you'll get a max ammo for uh replenishing all the ammo that you just lost killing zombies and the skeleton so overall the point of this video is really to show you guys everything that I was able to learn while playing this map and there's a few different things that you guys will see. Now, the thing about this game that we played is we didn't have any of the Easter eggs activated. And also we were not able to fly on Pegasus. So we couldn't go uh, to see where the Odin perk was. There's definitely another part of the map. There's also two more areas to do lockdowns. And we also didn't pack a bunch either. So that's gonna be somewhere where I would assume Pegasus is going to bring us to. So I'm sure you guys want to see the shield and it's called Apollo's Will. This is actually, in my opinion, the best shield that is in Black Ops 4 Zombies right now. It's actually super, super useful and it's literally a spear and you can throw the spear at zombies, which is so sick. And also you can bash them uh, with the spear as well and the shield. So it's really cool. As you can see, I'm going to pull it out right here. And I just kill this zombie with a duck flotation device, which I'm going to be talking about a little bit later on in this video. Uh, definitely a really, really cool whimsical elixir that got added in. There's actually four uh, brand new elixirs, and I'm only going to talk about the Quacknarok one, which is the duck one. Uh, but that's going to be later on in the video for you guys to check out. So I went back here into the amphitheater area because I honestly think this is probably going to be the best area to train. Uh, as for right now, I'm not a high round player, so I'm not going to you know, make any assumptions that this is like the best spot for zombie spawns and stuff. But it seems like all the zombies spawn out of the two windows or the sewer area inside of the amphitheater and only a few will actually run in from the front. So this seems right now to be a really good spot. Now the skeletons are going to be about the same spawn rate as the vampires were on Dead of the Night, but they're definitely a lot weaker than the vampires. And if they hit you, you actually are allowed to regen health, unlike the vampires, which took about 10 seconds before you could actually regen your health. So they're definitely not nearly as bad. So I'm assuming you guys want to learn about the brand new perk as well. Uh, this brand new perk is called Zomshell and the basic ability is basic zombies have a chance to explode when killed, leaving behind a contamination field that slows enemies and increases damage dealt to them. So if a zombie's in the contamination field, you can deal more damage. Now this is going to be really good for camping and that sort of thing. And uh, I really, really like this new perk. It does cost 4,000 points. Now in our game, like I mentioned, we actually couldn't get the Odin perk. It just wasn't available on the part of the map that we played in. So we weren't able to get the modifier slot, but the modifier for this brand new perk, Zomshell, cost 5,000. And the description for it says, players with the modifier are ignored by zombies while standing in the contamination field. 
and obviously you get an increased weapon reload speed as well so uh, it seems like this one is going to be really really good for camping and it acts kind of like vulture aid did on buried so now we're going to go into the temple of apollo right next to the oracle and you can actually buy challenges for 500 points as you can see here it's a tribute and as you can see i'm going to spend 500 points on it and i'm going to get a challenge that is kill zombies with apollo's will which is the shield now that is directly in front of the oracle and the oracle is going to give you hints the entire game about stuff to do what you want to do that sort of thing so you definitely Definitely want to make sure that you have your game volume cranked all the way up so you can hear everything that she is going to mention to you uh, because it's definitely really important so how the challenges work is what you want to do is do the challenge to your best ability you want to get as many kills on this challenge as you would uh, with another challenge that's like get kills with equipment um, there's also other challenges that regen health so you need to get hit and then regen health another one is don't get hit by zombies at all uh, another one is get equipment kills another one is get specialist kills there's a bunch of really really good rewards that you can get uh some rewards are like you get a bowie knife another one is an extra life uh so you can kind of like it is on nine another one you can actually get the pack a punch strife which is called the Z Harmony. Uh, as you guys know, that pistol is amazing uh, from using it on nine as well. So there's some really, really good challenges that I think is a good addition to the map because you don't actually have to do them, but you can. And since they do cost 500 points, you end up getting your points back as well. So you really don't end up wasting points. It's kind of like the generators on Origins where it costs you money to actually activate them, but then you get the money back once they're fully activated. So as you can see guys, there is a ton of statues all over the map, but we're actually going to be going to a specific fountain area where the Oracle told me there was a pot and I need to get a dormant hand. The dormant hand is how you get the wonder weapon. As you can see, that pot has some pink or purple stuff coming out of it, just like they did on Dead of the Night. Now what I'm going to do is break this pot and grab a dormant hand. This is how you start the upgrade process on the new gauntlets that everyone is calling them from the trailer. So as you can see, I'm going to grab it right here, the dormant hand, and we are going to bring it to the first location, uh, which is for Gia, I believe it's called. And this is for the one that is green, the earth one. Uh, so overall, what you do is you bring that dormant hand just to that area, and you're actually going to place it inside, and there's going to be a lockdown. So as you can see, we're just going to place it right here and it's going to start. Now you're going to be stuck inside of this circle area. You can't leave. It's like an invisible wall that you can't get out of a kind of a force field. And what's going to happen is there's going to be a bunch of zombies that spawn that have green all around them. Kind of like when you did the skull step on Zetsubo no Shima in order to get the um, specialist weapon on that map. Uh, which is this called non stop play. So basically you want to kill all the zombies that have the green around them And once you're done, it's going to open up now normal zombies from the round will also spawn there So as you can see we got the hand uh, Right there. So this weapon is pretty good I didn't really get that many great gameplay of like scrubbing through and seeing what I did uh, It does like kill zombies when you shoot it, but there's 100% going to be an upgrade for this uh, without a doubt you may even be able to pack a punch it as well and make it even stronger so i'm going to shoot at zombies it just doesn't seem to be super effective it's kind of hard to aim with it perfectly to be honest uh, so it's really not that great in my opinion overall now there's another one for Hamera, which i also ended up upgrading and this one was a little bit better it just seems a lot more stronger and accurate so like i said guys this map is beautiful see those things shining light i'm assuming we're gonna have to shine those in a specific area so now guys we got another dormant hand and you have to place down the original gauntlet that you got at the green area and once again it's the same exact lockdown process you're gonna be stuck inside of this circle now make sure you guys have a good specialist weapon that you can deal with the zombies because that's going to be your best friend when you're doing these lockdown steps now the zombies for this one are actually orange that you need to kill as you can see so once again you do the exact same thing just like on zetsubo where you just kill all the zombies that have that light around them and once you're done you can pick it up now the oracle actually says uh hamera approves take up her weapon 
and as you can see we end up getting it which is really cool and one thing that the oracle does also say is that we are able to upgrade this weapon if we are smart enough to do so the oracle says Hamera will share even more power with those clever enough to find it so there's 100 percent going to be an upgrade whether you have to shoot something or get a certain amount of kills with it or there's even a puzzle like uh doing some of the staffs on origins that sort of thing which is really exciting those are always really fun to find i remember finding out how to upgrade the bows on dryzen and that was super super fun i really really enjoyed that so that's gonna be really really cool i think that so far out of the two that we had access to this one was by far the best the hamera gauntlet now two of them are going to be on another part of the map along with the odin perk and pack-a-punch which we did not have access to when we were playing which is really unfortunate i kind of wish we had the ability to actually go and uh you know check those out as well but unfortunately it just wasn't available to us we only played for about an hour um which also kind of stunk to be honest but uh overall it's still really cool checking out this and bringing you guys early gameplay as well now if you guys want to check out my easter egg hunt i am going to be streaming on my twitch at twitch.tv slash greg fps so i'm going to be doing an easter egg hunt hopefully getting first in the world that'd be really really cool to do because i haven't actually done it besides project scatty on this game yet uh which would be really cool if i did end up completing it first i'm going to be playing with some really good players and uh it's going to be a really good time so make sure that you guys check out my stream over on twitch and come stop by uh to check stuff out i'm gonna also be uploading a bunch of videos here on my channel as well uh tutorials on how to do everything an easter egg guide uh upgrades for you know weapons how to get all the specialists um what how to get the specialist weapon like the shield and uh also like how to upgrade it if there's an upgrade and that sort of thing so there's definitely going to be a bunch of tutorials you want to make sure that you check them out on my channel now overall my thoughts on this map it looks fantastic out of the time that I played, which I said was very limited, um, it did look absolutely beautiful. It looked so nice being underground. It still lit up very, very well, uh, which is also really, really nice as well. So overall, I am loving this map. So now we're going to talk about the Golden Bridal, which as you guys are going to see, I'm going to pick it up. And this is actually how the special boss with six arms spawns on this map. As you can see, uh, I'm, I was kind of just looking around and it's right here and the boss is gonna break that door right there And he's gonna come out of it now. He has a spear that if he hits you with it. It deals a hundred damage uh, Which is pretty significant. You don't want to get hit twice and he also has a sword as well Now another cool thing is he has a shield ability that is actually going to stun you kind of like you're shell shocked or something where you actually can't move and the annoying thing where your hand goes up on the screen like in multiplayer ends up happening again as you can see right here so you literally are like super stunned now he has like a red um like cut i guess on his chest and that's going to be the weakest point so you want to shoot that the best you can he does try to block it with his shield so as you can see like out when he's out right now uh you can still shoot him but you just gotta kind of get behind the shield so you can still damage him. So he does die fairly quickly. And once he dies, you gotta teabag him. Like that's a number one necessity, but he's actually gonna drop one of the pieces for the um, shield. So you wanna make sure that you guys grab that. And last but not least guys, we're gonna talk about Quacknarok, which is the brand new whimsical elixir that causes all of the zombies to have duck floaties around them this is by far one of the best things in the game right now now i don't know if you guys noticed in any of the gameplay but there are catalyst zombies back on the map unfortunately and also the blight father does spawn on round 15 as well and this was actually a pretty good clutch i'm surprised i got out of this situation you can just hear the quacking noises from all of the zombies with the ducky floats uh, this is so so cool guys but i really think you guys are really going to enjoy this map i had a ton of fun playing it and i honestly believe it's going to be a lot more well received than dead of the night i think a lot of people are really going to enjoy it and i hope you guys specifically enjoy it as well my name is greg fps it's been 15 minutes i'll see you all later in my live stream peace out